I'm assuming that too. I mean, there's something weird though, because there was a lot of screaming stuff when he looked in that thing. So yeah, and now the dragon has to deal with that cat. Well, and he also Jerry said he was in my house where I have pictures of my parents. So I I feel like the cat has like done some really weird depraved stuff and made people like watch their family members like go through something horrible. Yeah, like a horrible uh, ordeal. Like that cat made a deal with the devil and uh, yeah, had to know. had to watch had to watch <sighs> like Well, exactly. I mean, I don't think I think yeah, he's which is why he was very just like didn't want to tell anybody at the beginning and then also he was just like he was just like, "Look, look, you you, you just don't understand. Look, yeah, let me explain." And they're like, "Get out of here." And uh I think the cat's immortal, too. I think the cat's immortal, and I think it is, uh, I, I think it, mm, I don't know where, where it comes from, 100%, but now we're on to Rick Star Rick Lactica, which, Jesus Christ, these episode titles, I, I keep saying that, I, I just know that I'm, I'm joking when I say it, I'm not, I'm not actually serious, I mean, and neither are they when it comes to naming the episodes, I mean, they do it just for the jokes. And I'm and I was surprised to hear a few years ago that they signed Rick and Morty to pretty much have a total of like seven more seasons. Holy cow! Yeah, so there's gonna be, from what I understand, ten seasons in total. That's gonna make take so much time, and well, yeah, I mean, so far, I mean, if the show takes a nosedive, they'll cancel the contract immediately, and then Justin Roiland will have to fall back on I don't know any of the other shows or video games or stuff that he's developing because the dude is very creative and has an awesome, awesome creative mind. Other, uh, VR games, uh, Trover, like, yeah, Trover Saves the Universe. Yeah, I, still like <clears throat> yeah, I would, I would too. And also, I need to watch uh, their other show that's on, uh... Yeah, you do. It's fucking good. Yeah, it... Jesus. Like, it doesn't start out as strong as Rick and Morty, but by the end of the First season, you'll be sold on it. Well, I believe you. Uh, and now we're on season four, episode five, Rick Star Rick Lactica. What everyone says, this is like a mid-season finale because uh, they took some time to release the next five episodes, so we won't have to wait, and you all won't have to wait either to see our reactions. So, uh, yeah, you'll be able to tune in next week and see the ep- a reaction to episode six if you want to. So, anyway, we got the episode queued up here. Let's give it a watch and see what happens. Well, you tell your mother that I'm going to be fine. Don't train your child to lie, Jerry, even though, you know, tis the season. Then I'll tell you. Ouch. Oh. Oh. I told you no more rays. It wears off in 10 hours, and the next hit will cost you 30 bucks. <laughs> like I'll even be using it in 10 hours. Siri set a 9-hour and 50-minute timer. <laughs> <laughs> Playing the Beatles. P2P. Nope. Here, I got a centipede you can swallow that makes you not have to go. Right. Flat tire. How the hell do you get a flat tire in space, Rick? Obviously from a sharp thing in space, <coughs> Morty. It's just crazy how much it feels like hitting a regular flat. Oh, no, no. That's just my custom program, fully immersive flat tire indication experience. Flat tire. You should be walking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not a bad Chris Walken impression. Oh, my God. Wait, what the crap? A space snake? God damn it. What is that? Obviously, it's a space snake. There, there's snakes in space? There's literally everything in space, Morty. <laughs> now get the f- back in the car. Was not expecting a space snake. At all. And it, like, was literally just a snake, but in a space suit. Yes. <laughs> that bit through its own... It did not at all act like a snake would act, either. No. Snakes don't just sneak up on you and bite you. <laughs> Computer, you might want to put a rush on this. Morty's starting to look like a 90s Japanese ghost. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, these snakes are a mess. But my name's Jerry Smith, I live in the suburbs. I'm only here because I have a certain power I wanted to kind of celebrate before it goes away. Yo, we got a Nazi up here. Hey, I think there's a misunderstanding. Here, just just watch. Huh? Bye, Jerry. No, no, don't touch that shoe or that money. Let them be a powerful but confusing monument to our neighborhood's integrity. <laughs> Whoa, boy, what an adventure, Wow. Huh? I can tell you're pretty upset about the whole snake encounter thing, so I'll tell you what. I'm just going to go ahead and avoid you for the rest of the day. Wow. <laughs> oh, 
Why did they keep it? <laughs> That's all it is. It's just... What the... F <laughs> what?! Okay, I, okay, I was not expecting this. At all. Whoa. Oh god. Oh god. Jesus Christ. Down beat. How do you win this game? We, we did. Then where is he? Maybe he's having an affair. <laughs> <laughs> but for real, has anyone seen him? Grandpa, did you trap him in a painting again? I didn't do shit. It's like he'll fall out of the sky. He won't be in the sky, Beth. Unless it's possible for Jerry to fuck up wearing shoes. Oh crap, he's going to die. <laughs> 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 We're in Rick's ship. How about we just pick you up? You're with Rick. Well, why wouldn't I? Jerry, I paused Beth with a device Christopher Walken gave me after a record session. Real time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Can you recognize the sound of a man's pants filling up with rain? I hope to one day. <laughs> Jerry, I'll tell you what. I'm not going to lie. That's actually a pretty good idea with the pants. I won't let you die. If I survive, it'll be without you. And if I die, it'll be on your ass. Merry Christmas, bitch. I am the Jesus Christ of Christmas! Jerry's gone crazy. That's it. Whoa. Oh, God. I'd be with him. We both care. Whoa. Jerry? Yes, honey. But I'm fine, and I just want to put up these Christmas lights, and I will eat your world. No. See you soon. Okay. Oh. Oh, well, it sounds like he's fine. Yeah, I'm almost kind of rooting for him this time. Fucked. <laughs> so fucked. I told you this would happen. Oh, shit, food. I can't control it. Oh. <laughs> God dang it! <laughs> Should have just stayed in the woods until it wore off. Yep. What the fu- Okay. Yeah. Summer, how soup shook am I by your playlist and fleetness tonight? You love it? It's snake jazz. Also later, we need to discuss your clothing and your weight. That's fair. Oh. Wow. What the hell? Target acquired. Wait, so they're gonna like John Connor this thing? I am a robot sent back in time by the snake resistance to protect you from Surfacor. My appearance is designed to be familiar and <laughs> put you in. child must be eliminated to protect our timeline. Forty, what the hell did you do? Get behind me, I will protect <laughs> Wow. Also, they can try to kill a little sh** back on Earth who couldn't let a dead snake be dead even after it bit his ankle. Damn. The survivors lived only to face a new nightmare. So the Battlestar Galactica reference was a total bait and switch. Yeah, it's terminated. In the end, Snake overcame the machine because of what we couldn't predict. What, what are we doing here, Rick? We gotta get to the heart of Snake. Little ankle biters. Stay close. Resistance is mouse like. <laughs> Whoa, hey, look, that one's actually really cool. Come here, little guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming home with the best lights ever. Oh dear. Whoa, feel that turbulence? Nope, I'm on Molly. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So. I don't suppose you guys will take a bribe? What the oh, heck? That's messed up. Anyone else want legs? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so messed up. God damn it. Come on, was it really that hard? What do you think? Come on, Morty. Man, I, I wonder why I had a black eye. <laughs> I think we're gonna find out. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Snake Raham Lincoln. Snake Hitler. 
Oh god. This was Oh my god. I'd kill Hitler in 1933, right when he came into power. <laughs> oh, they're gonna- yeah, oh my god. Yeah, right? Like, that's the- I already told Rick! I don't want help! I do not know Rick. I was sent by a society of human-snake hybrids Classic from an alternate Rick. version of- <gasps> Oh gosh! Oh no! <laughs> snakes! Time travel! I'm afraid of snakes. I'm afraid of snakes. Bullsh! You afraid of work! That's what you want! <laughs> alright, alright! Let's go take care of this. God, I love Keith so much. Yeah. Well, duh. Of course I'm safe. Hey, guess what, asshole? Hey, I did it without you. Oh! <laughs> oh God, it hurts! Oh, what was that? Healed your leg 50%. The rest is on you, big man. Neither did the guys before us, but you know what they were? Merry Christmas, you yeah, shitbag! Yeah, goes bags. to Christmas future, bitches. F***ing idiot. You're so mean. Because they're mean. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's like some- that was like Terminator and like some Bill and Ted stuff right there. Yeah, and... oh god. Eventually they had to mess up enough to where the fourth- the fourth dimensional beings were just like, Oh! Oh god, we gotta work today? Let's go! Man. And they went back and killed Snake, Cave Snake Man. <laughs> what? I, I feel like we're forgetting something. Oh, yeah. Uh, thanks for reminding me. Morty, next time stay in the car. Oh, they, it's how you got the black eye. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Oh. This one's for the timeline. Yeah. Well, considering how bad uh, Morty messed up by getting out of the freaking car. I mean, he literally eradicated a snake population. And not only that, but Jerry, you know, in spite, it was just like, he was like, it wasn't I can do the it fact himself. That he got out of the car, though. It was the fact that he freaking went back and took a snake from Earth and everything, I think. And then, yeah. And then that was just. That was the end of it right there. It's just like, well, I guess now this is a thing. Yeah, you know, he takes a snake back to back to the snake world and it's like, well, I can I I think I am I am I am did that. No, you just made it even worse. And then we had time travel, time travel, time travel, time travel, time travel. You go back and you kill you kill snake you you save a, snake Abraham Lincoln and snake Hitler never loses the war. It's like well, I it, that's the thing about the history that we have nowadays. I wonder what would have happened if Lincoln would not have died at the Ford Theater. And also, here, here's another interesting factoid my history teacher laid on me. In 1936, if Hitler would have gotten assassinated in 1936, uh, before any of his megalomania decided, hey, we should go, uh, we should go invade Poland. Uh, then people would have uh, actually seen Hitler as more of a hero, a mm -hmm. martyr, because he wouldn't have committed the terrible acts. He was uh, Time Magazine's Man of the Year, wasn't he? Yes, he was, because he single-handedly brought Germany back from the brink of destruction. But in Time Magazine, they did not explain how they how he did it, because why that why would they? Why should they explain how you know you know how socialism be good? Under, under the, yeah, that's one thing a lot of people forget too. Hitler was a socialist. That's one thing everybody neglects. It's like you know his his regimes. This, oh gosh, but I don't want to get into a whole political debate. I I don't want to mess with time travel. I never would. If someone gave me the opportunity and said, "Hey, you can go back and do uh yeah, do this in time and whatever and all that," it's like, well. No, I just, I don't want things to change that much because... I wonder if you could alter something in your own life. That's that's what I'm thinking. You know, if I could go back and instead of playing football and hurting myself all the time, instead of, and gaining all that weight, 
would have had to stay in gymnastics and stuck with it instead. Because well, I think about like quantum leap rules, where it's like he could like leap into other people, but it like had to be in the scope of when he was alive. And then the one time they broke it, it was like his like great grandfather or something. Ah. So he was like genetic related genetic relation to the person that was outside of his you know life lifetime yeah it, then they really jumped on that in assassin's creed where literally anyone you're related to you no. can relive their memories and all that that's that's pretty pretty wicked but i i keep going back to futurama it's like oh i'm going to listen to mr i'm my own grandpa screw the universe let's get the hell out of here i think it i think that would be a lot of people's mentality Oh, God. This show messes with me, dude. I I mean, I am, I love it, but at the same time, I'm just like, oy vey, just too much on the brain. Mm-hmm. If uh, you guys would watch Future Man at some point, I think that would be more fuel for you. to be like, yeah, I definitely would want to mess with it. <laughs> yeah, you watch... I, I've, I've scoped out a few episodes of, that you've been watching, and I'm just sitting there, and I'm just like, I have no idea what's going on, but I'm sure if I was paying attention, I'd be like, fuck this. <laughs> Not the show, but the situation. Yeah. Because the show, there's a whole lot of situations in this show. I'm just like, nah, never in a million years. But I love this show because it, it's funny. Ugh, God. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's going to do it for this episode of Renegade Direct. This was Rick and Morty, Season 4, Episode 5, Rick Lactic. <laughs> Uh, a, ri- a rattle star Rick Lactica. Although the rattle star, I didn't think yeah. about that. The rattlesnakes. Yeah. I didn't think about that. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah. So, yeah. Everyone, thank you all so much for tuning in. And until next time, I'm Nate. Pika. I'm Nick. We'll see you then, everybody. Peace out. Rip and tear until it is done.